Hello and welcome to stage three of the Belgian Grand Prix event for 2020. This one's about qualifying and there's some tricks that you can do in this particular stage that could make it easier for you if you're having a difficult time or just could make it fun for you if you're looking for a more fun time. You see in a lot of these we have these partial laps at the beginning but if you look there's no timer running and so you could use that to your advantage if you want to. Um, because when we're trying to do these clean laps, there's cars in the way, like that guy was just perfectly in my way. And I could have slowed down, but I don't really like slowing down when I'm racing. Now, it doesn't matter what position you finish in. If you set the fastest lap, you will be in first place. So if you finish in last place on the track, like it'll look like you're finishing last, you won't be last when the stage goes over well if you are anything but first place you're gonna fail anyways so for this one I'm just gonna drive it so I'm gonna draft this guy a little bit get a tow and that could make me faster but he's in the wrong spot for me so actually it's gonna waste my time Do a little bit of side draft that ah, didn't really work that time is the right and the wrong way to side draft and I don't always know what that is but anyhow getting a nice push through Eau Rouge power up through Radion a bit of a draft there we go so that's one of my favorite things to do is getting a nice draft a nice nice toe and then a nice push and here i'm just breaking a boat when the yellow red starts actually even later than that pretty late into this one if you don't get the trajectory right you do need to break there but most of the time you can and then you get these guys who are just in your way especially because they are you know we're deep in the field here and that's when you get bots that act even stranger in corners all I mean by that is that they are overbreaking. They're taking it way too cautiously, and it can throw you off if you're used to racing against bots that are like top three, top five. Because those guys are gonna go fast, and these guys are going to go slow and be in your way. Like this guy's probably gonna be, yeah, that wasn't too bad. And uh, he'll break right here probably. Yep, no reason to break there. But, oh well, like there's just a handful of cars uh really fast cars that don't have enough grip um those ones you would have to break there actually and cars that have horrible grip you'd have to break there so here we'll see i'm probably gonna finish um no i won't be able to pass him probably could have but i'll just get a, a toe and you'll see what i mean it says 15th place here but let's take a look first place so it only, it's only based on how fast you finish a lap, and if you don't finish the lap in first place, you will have to redo that stage. So let's look at something different we can do. Um, yeah, I'll do something different for this one. A little, little bit of fun with this one. So again, it's a partial lap, and I have got tires that are not warmed up, and that's just not very much fun. So I'm gonna show you a trick you can do if you want to heat up your tires quickly take notice see how fast that number is increasing it's not too fast you know 23 24 25 you see about how fast it's counting kind of by the second maybe a little bit slower here i'm probably going to be what about 30 something okay, 34 let's do some donuts let's take a look at that number now it's counting a lot faster so you just gotta watch that wall. This uh, obviously isn't perfectly flat. At this must be a tiny bit of banking coming out of that chicane. So anyways, you can get your tires up to 100%. And then, there we go. Now we're gonna back up a little bit because I don't have the greatest run to the start finish line from where I am. So this is just a trick you can do. You don't really need to be doing this in this particular event. But if this was a type of event where there was no required PR or required upgrades, then stuff like this is the difference between having to spend currency or not. Tricks like this are what help you to pass stages for cheap when, well, when it's just recommended PR. And we'll see events like that in the future. I love those events. That's been some of my favorite where it's up to you how much you want to spend. So we'll see the effect of this. You can see that the timer only started when I crossed the start finish line. And I've got 100% grip heading into these corners. So I'll be flying through this one. I'm curious to see my time versus the rest of the field. 
That, that'll be interesting. Okay, so there's nobody in my way. So if I get this right, I, I just lifted off the throttle for a fraction of a second. Now let's watch this. Absolutely no lifting. So with this tuning already, you can stay full throttle in there if you get the trajectory right. Here, full throttle, if you get it right. Little breaking point here, I could get onto the gas a little bit sooner, but boy, I hate getting into that gravel. And I am not going to have a problem. I don't anticipate any trouble in winning this stage. So remember, I spent part of this stage doing donuts to heat up my tires, but the timer hadn't started, so it didn't really matter. It made it so I had 100% tires when I started the event. All right, let's take a look at this versus the rest of the field. 136 and change. That's pretty decent. Pretty happy with the time like that. Obviously, it was more than enough, but I am curious to see what the other guys got. Oh, 143s. Well, that's pretty good, too. Still, way more than fast enough. All right, and no additional tuning required yet. I'm guessing it's always going to be in the final stage that that is required. We'll see how that goes. Now watch again the timer. Now it's started. All right. So this one we're starting in the lead and need to do a whole lap in that time frame, which based on what we just saw should not be a problem. Question is, will I get lapped cars in the way? That will be the question. So Eau Rouge Roudion in this car, boy, it's actually pretty easy. If you're driving with assists, they are going to be braking at that section. So if you're running out of time, you could pause, uh, turn off your brakes and your traction before you go through that section, and then pause and turn them back on right after. And that's going to shave off a decent amount of time. Like you, you, might, you might even save a whole second there. Same with the back section of this track. I'll point that out again too. There's a couple of sections where if you turn off brakes and traction, you will gain time. Uh, for myself, I mentioned this in another stage, I always have my assists off at this track. The only time I use any assists is at Daytona Speedway and Indianapolis Speedway. I'll use steering assist high because it helps to smooth out the corners a little bit. It benefits me rather than hurts me but only on the speedways, not on the road courses. This section here helps to turn off those brakes and traction and then turn them back on going into this braking point. If not, your car probably was just braking back there a little bit and it's wasting your time. So there we go, I still encountered lap traffic, but I'll have more than 10 seconds on the clock. And well, not much more, but hey, that was a decent guess. There we go, so no trouble again. And I'm guessing, let's see here, I believe that was the third race of stage three. Yes, so this should be tuning time. Uh, let's see this. Don't let anyone draft behind me. Okay, well, I've got a fun little way to solve that problem. Again, I'm doing this at four times regular speed. I will stop spending the second I hit minimum PR. So if I have a driver level up, I'll do that first. Then I'll buy M until I have uh, principle that I can level up and I'll level him up and just I'm just keeping on doing the minimum so I'm doing equal spending of uh, M dollars and gold okay well the easiest thing to do is to have nobody in my way right like if I don't pass anyone they can't follow me and it doesn't say anything about I have to cross the finish line in first place they're going to give me first place when I set the fastest lap so why not just lay back and let everyone get a nice big lead? Um, I'm not gonna do donuts at this particular part. I don't remember if it said no off track or not. Um, if you do donuts in this section, it's kind of risky because of the banking. So if you don't pay attention, you're gonna end up uh, off track. Anyhow, that is more than enough of a lead. Okay, so it's time to set up my start finish run here. Down the start finish straight and let's just get into it. Again, watching the clocks at zero, and now it starts. And I don't think anyone will be in my way for this whole race. So it's just much of the same. Nobody's in your way. It's just you and the clock. And there should be way more than enough time to get this done. 
and there's no way anyone can get draft on me because there's nobody behind me, I don't think. I didn't see anybody. And I don't think I'll see anyone in front of me. Let's see. Well, there I see all... I said just saw a name there on the right, but uh, that's me coming down the, the mountain a bit here. So I imagine he's pretty far ahead of me. We'll watch for that. We'll watch if we can see a number in the distance here. This is a, this is a great track. Okay, if I get this right, I can stay full throttle. I don't think I have to push it, so I might end up braking a little bit. Eh, sometimes you even just lift for a fraction of a second. Um, lift, turn, reapply. Sometimes that's, that's enough. Just a fraction of a second timing when you want to get a little bit of extra turning. Get off the gas and get back on it as soon as you're done doing your little turn. So, I'm going to go through the mechanics of that pull-on corner a little bit later. Because there's an interesting, I don't know, the way I do it anyways. Uh, helps me to carry a little bit more speed through it. Um, we're starting to catch him, but ah, uh, no. 400 meters, almost 500 really. Nothing to worry about. There's no way he's going to be in my way. And there you go. Wow, that was actually a lot faster. Oh, that's right, because I bought more tuning. Yeah, dumb moment there. So obviously it does make a difference, because I was doing 136s, and that's a 135. All right, well, there we go. That is stage three. Uh, fun stage. I'm really enjoying this event so far. Collect my M dollars. Collect my gold. Gotta love getting the gold. And there we go. Let's get on to stage four. Subscribe if you want the quickest access. And here are some other links for you. See you soon.